All right, guys, today's meeting and today's webinar is about cognitive learning programs. So what we will learn, we will learn about what cognitive learning programs are, what programs are available, the cost of joining a cognitive learning program, and the pros and cons of each program. What are cognitive learning programs? Cognitive learning programs are designed and programmed to improve and enhance people's cognitions. These help people sharpen their minds and be more aware in different scenarios. And there are many areas affected by cognitive learning, including problem solving, math solving, comprehension, memory, etc. Lumosity. Lumosity is an online program consisting of games claiming to improve memory, attention, flexibility, and more. Lumosity began in 2007 and is still active in today's time. There are many languages available to um, use the app in, and it has a lot of good features. Signing up for Lumosity. Lumosity is free to sign up for, requiring only the first and last name, birthday, email address, and filling out a quick questionnaire to create your learning regime. Lumosity's premium service unlocks all the games for you to play at any time. And on the right, you can see some of the subscription prices. So there are many different options regarding, you know, how many people you have in your family, et cetera, and how long you want to apply for. Pros and cons of Lumosity. The pros are it's free and easy to sign up. It creates a training regime for you personally, and there are a variety of fun learning games for all ages. Some cons might include majority of games are locked behind premium access. They may not generate a training without you, without a therapist's advice, and reviews show that Lumosity enhances cognition but doesn't improve them. Brain HQ. Brain HQ is an online brain training program that serves as your personal gym. They offer 29 online exercises that help with your memories, people skills, brain speed, etc. Brain HQ has shown mental and physical increase in people's brain when teaching cognitive skills. Signing up for Brain HQ. Brain HQ is a free to free to sign up for and also has an app version to use on your device. To sign up, go to the Brain HQ website and click tap slash sign up. Enter your email address and create a password to continue. Enter your first name and last name to finish signing up. And as before, there are different options depending on how long you want to subscribe for and how many people you want access for. Pros and cons of Brain HQ. So the pros are that it's scientifically backed by 100 international researchers. Users can create their own goals to research there are exercises that help you keep track of your training level and adapt. And their free exercise trial is available before you commit to the paid subscription. Cons might include uh, complaints about graphics and interfaces, um, lack of motivating features, no feedback provided during user progression outside of premium service, and it may have bugs and audio problems. Cognifit. It's a digital healthcare company that offers personalized brain training programs based on a numerous features such as neurophys neuropsychology and cognitive stimulation. Um, they're designed to stimulate, train, and rehabilitate various cognition skills, including perception, attention, memories, res reasoning, and more. Signing up for Cognifit. Cognifit is a free to sign up for, allowing users to explore with limited access. You can sign up by using your email, create a password, then enter your first and last name and a birthday. You can also sign up using your Facebook, Twitter, or Google account. Um, so as we can see here, there's another subscription or they can do it per month. So they have different, um, different subscriptions based on what you want to um, buy. Pros and cons of Cognifit. The pros are that it's straightforward and user-friendly to understand. Um, you know, you can choose specific areas of cognition training to work on, such as memory, etc. Um, it offers a three-day trial to use full access features before your purchase, so you can gauge how well you like the system and the app. Uh, users receive an assessment to gauge their cognitive abilities. 
Some cons might include subscription and assessment prices may be too high for some users. It may lack feedback to users' progression, and it lacks engaging elements to keep people motivated while using the program. So here's a little video presentation that we're going to go through that'll give you um, a better understanding about cognitive learning and some of these apps. All right, thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn this lesson with the Cyber Seniors Mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call this number. Uh, we also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursdays. Thank you.